I turned 20 years old three days ago, and I never thought I'd be this scared. I wake up in cold sweats from daydreams that I'm forcing myself out of because at age 20, I can't help but think that they'll never happen. I avoid the question, where will you be in five years, like I avoided the question, who do you like like? Because just as then, <laughs> I still don't really know what that means. <laughs> I let my legs carry me, drawing constellations on the ground that are too familiar to be considered magnificent. The top of every day's checklist reads, don't panic. Yeah. And some days, that's the only thing on my checklist. And some days, I can't cross that off my checklist. And some days, I write out what I had for a checklist as a child. Wake up, breathe, stretch your limbs, engage your muscles. Love. And I realize that list is too big for me to accomplish. I'm five foot ten and a half, which apparently isn't tall enough to touch God. We used to have God in our fingertips, on the tips of our lips. We used to have angels in our eyes, but we've packed them into bags along with our long nights and hidden tears and replaced them with bulletproof glass. The difference between 10 and 20. It's the difference between injured and wounded. It's the difference between pockets filled with hope and magic instead of twice booked schedules and a watch that runs too fast. I walk in on broken crutches, chasing new dreams every night because I can only hold on to a dream for a minute after I wake up. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I wish a minute was a whole lot longer. And, and maybe I can still coat my closet door with stickers. And maybe I can still make them shine in my own light. Maybe I can wake up on Sunday morning to my own praise. Maybe I'm just asking all the wrong questions and holding all the right answers, just waiting for my decoder ring to arrive in the mail. They said the estimated delivery time was between seven weeks and 70 years. But to be honest, I think it got lost in the mail. 